Welcome back to part 3 of the Bevel Gear tutorial. Okay, I'll, this part I'll just make a feature of this all the way around. And we can start drawing the upper teeth of our gear. So click that, click pan, click on axis, click on the axis on the drawing. And we want that 22 times around, so put 22 here. And we want to click here to make it all the way go all the way around and we'll create the, the cuts all the way around okay now we're going to move on to making the, the the upper teeth of the gear okay to do this we got to make a plane on the far outer edge of this point and make sure we don't want to do a, a plane Connecting these two points, we want to do something to, that goes to the farthest side of the face so it won't leave any material left when we cut. So, to do that, we need to go datum, create a curve through points, we click on this point and click on the center point. So, that will leave a line connecting to the middle. And now we go to plane, click on the point, and click on that line we created. Make sure it's the right line. And it will leave a, a plane here. We'll accept that. And we also wanted to, because when we are, I'll just do it. Try to go ahead and do it to show you what we need to do. We go sketch on that new plane we created and flatten that out. And we'll flip the sketch around so you can see. Okay, so we have a curve here. We can project to create this curve, but we want to create a curve on the other side. Let's let's try and do that. So if I click on there and click on uh, we don't have something in the middle to allow us to mirror around actually we can we can go try select reference click on the center line here and close that off click on this line go mirror and click on that line you can use the center line set a center line here and that will allow you to mirror actually that should work so click mirror click on that line click on okay that works fine so we created the other side of of the curve and just be aware the involute curve it's very messy on the bottom we want to cut that out so we gotta draw a line draw a line here so don't start from the bottom here just start a bit close up and just draw a line across and we want to end the line somewhere here Sometimes it doesn't connect, just draw draw a pass through it. Press the middle mouse button to accept and we can remove the other parts away. So go to the delete segments and de delete away the other parts. And before you finish, you want to make sure it's uh, there's no messy lines. Delete over here as well, where the involute finish at the top and make sure it's the shape shaded so that means it's a closed shape so we accept that and we're nearly there okay so to make the cut on the top we got to use this tool called the sweep blend sweep blend will we'll make a blend from this shape to a point at the top so we've got to blend with a two two to section to sections define click on sweep blend here and make sure you deselect that make sure you select the tra trajectory line first which is this line here make sure this line connects to the base circle the pitch circle because that's very important okay so uh, just click on to whip blend, deselect everything, select the, you need to select 
the trajectory line so this is the trajectory line and we could also define a a x direction for the reference so a line can horizontal across so we go out of there we do that first click on this axis tool click on this point and this point and it will create a line across and we'll use that as a as the x reference so if you click on there now you go to reference you need to just specify a x direction reference so we'll click on that line we created and we can go to section now and just click on sketch and be aware where where do these lines are located that will tell you where to draw the profile so we just go to project tool make sure you select loop here click on this and it'll create a loop around to uh, use the curve that we defined and we've got to go insert now we define the other section click on sketch so at this point here we can use a point in the sketch tool just draw a point on there click accept click ok and we create the 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 protrusion so we want to remove material accept that and there you go we create the sweep blend there and we'll just pan that around click on axis pattern click on the center axis and we want to do that 22 times for 22 gig teeth make it go all the way around click on that button and there you go we have our involute gear completed let's hide that away and we'll go, go ahead and have a look at assembling this together okay we'll just uh, continue with this video to create an assembly and let's just do that quickly make a new file click on assembly and give a name just click OK bring up the plane okay so we can just bring the gear in straight away but you just need to define a bracket so you can define the assembly so make another new file and we're gonna make a frame just a quick bracket for the gears to sit on so just click a sketch and we'll create just make an L shape make sure these two lines are equal this line and this line and we'll close off that shape oh no let's do that again there you go and we need to specify the right dimensions we want 20 here and we just want 5 there okay that's really high so we don't want that to be that high so okay we want we can just use the constraint here we want this to equal that and that's more like it actually we want this to be a, a bit more than 20 we'll make that 26 and click OK extrude that across Let's make about a 6 mil extrusion except and now just define this uh, circle a circle here let's draw a circle we want to make sure that's about the middle and we're going to use the middle reference hopefully that works all right just draw a circle here and we want that to be 20 mil to the bottom here so let's put 20 and we'll set this free because we know 
the width is 6 and we'll delete this line away click OK we'll flip that through we want to remove it and do the same for the bottom as well so click extrude draw a circle here there'll be 3 here 20 here and doesn't really matter what the radius is we just set that free as well flip that around and accept that save that and we'll go back to assembly view which one was it this one oh we've done that already we'll go back to the new one right here so place the frame in first click and make sure you put on default to be the center so it's a yellow color and it will be um, it'll sit still on, on the on the gear click assemble now we can bring in the the, the gears so which which was the names I think it was this one actually let me check if it if it was the right one switch back to the part so it's gear 4 I'll save this now save that in the folder it's bevel gear 4 Or two and go back to assembly click assemble click on the save file and when when you put it in here you need to switch it to a, a pin so it will work as a a gear assembly so make sure you set that there go to placement and we need to define the axis so click on the axis on the gear and click on the axis of the the hold extrusion now translation we gotta click this surface and click this surface uh, there's a problem we'll, we'll have a look at that next but all right so place the other gear as well so it's the same gear we'll place that here click th this one and switch that to a pin so we can work make sure it works as a a gear okay so we're going to define the face now and we want that to flip the other way so let's go in placement see if we can do that flip all right there you go that's better okay there's a problem the we need to sit the the gears on the base plane of the circle the specific circle there to do that we can go to back to the part here and draw a plane where the base circle is so click on plane click on this base circle here I'll right click pick from menu and try find that click on that base circle, base circle is a second smaller circle, click OK so we just create a plane there, that plane is very important for us to allow um, us to put the right length for for how the key, key sits together so, so we save that and we will finish with that, we'll just close that off ok, why do I have these here? Am I in the assembly? Yep, I'm back to assembly. And the gear that doesn't sit too well together because we need to fix one thing. Go edit definition for one of the gears. We gotta fix the the translation placement. Let's remove the bevel surface. We need to sit this on the base plane okay it's not showing at the moment so i think i need to reload it let's go out of that again and regenerate is there a plane there let's go it's not showing so we'll go back to the gear part gear 4 2 all right i think that i didn't save it so i just draw that plane again so draw click plane click on click OK, save, generate, 
close that go to the assembly yep now just regenerate edit definition go to placement go to translation we want to remove this uh, this face and we want to sit that with the the datum plane we created so click OK and do the same for the other gear that should sit on the plane is that right make sure it's on the we we'll just switch to front view yep that one's right accept that okay it doesn't sit up sit right on so go back to front view we need to check it's right there as well okay i think i found the problem we i also made another mistake this datum shouldn't be on the base circle so go back to the part and this datum we gotta fix that one up go edit definition we need to sit that on the pitch circle which is the th the th third smallest circle do you select this one and select this circle so we've got to set that the pitch circle is 20 mil to the top. So let's see if I measure this. We'll go front view. Go measure. And we want 20. From there to there is 20. And that's important. I'll show you in the next step. So we generate, save the file, go back to the assembly, and just regenerate now the gear should sit back and we just hide this frame it's just there for a guide so we don't need to have it there now the gear should sit well together now okay so we just need to make sure that the the two top of the gear sits perfectly on the the, the apex of the gear so so they they connect well together Alright, and we'll quickly go over assembly. When you assemble, you want to make sure you position it in the right place. Click on the hand and drag it to the right place. And we're nearly done. And just go to mechanism now and assemble that together. Just hide the planes, application, mechanism, click on gears. And we want to switch that to a bevel gear. Click on the first. Uh, point and specify the pitch 40 mil click on key number two click on the other point have a look where the guide line is we switch that around to, to that side and it doesn't let us specify the diameter but you can define your own if it doesn't let you but it should be 40 by 40 and click OK and you can now it's assembled as a uh, two gears so so there you go, I hope you find the, useful, the tutorial useful and I had, took a lot of time researching that but it was fun finding out how, how to do it and as you can see it works fine the, the pitch circle connects perfectly on onto each other and the apex sits um, connects perfectly on, on on uh, between the two two gear all right so make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos have a great day see you later everybody